What happened to this camp? Jere! You know, I see why you like going on these quests. The bandits don't even put up a fight. And there's wine! Tastes a bit off there. Barnabas, it isn't safe here. That's lotus flower wine. The bandits are drugged. Snap out of it! A cyclops! A pig! A cyclops pig! Come on, old man. Let's get you home. How are you feeling? That doesn't matter. The gods, they sent me a vision. Drank lotus flower, Varnavas. It makes people crazy. No, it was a divination, I'm certain. They showed me my dear Lida, my wife. You're married? I thought I'd lost her a long time ago, but I saw her in my vision. She's alive. We just have to find her. I'll help you find her, but... A vision isn't much to go on. There were three visions in the darkness of a forgotten cave. Lida fed a cyclops. But then I saw her drinking wine with a witch. Then I could hear her singing like a siren. About this vision of the cyclops. Right. Thosa and Poseidon took my hand and led me deep into the heart of the caves of Anafi. There. I saw Lida feeding a young Cyclops. So Lida was drinking wine with a witch? She herself showed me. The witch and Lida were dear friends, drinking wine together well into the night. In the background, I could see the ruins on Paros Island. You said sirens? Persephone showed me a painted wall. Behind it, sirens lurked. Lida was trapped. Then, Demeter warned me in her motherly voice. You dare not approach, lest your ears pollute your mind. Good advice from both you and Demeter. But what should I use? You believe me? Here, take this. Beeswax. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. These pigs look hungry. Welcome to my empire, traveler. I am at Semperis, Kirki of the Oceanids. You live here? Where are my manners? You must be weary after your long journey. There's some wine in my hold if you'd fetch it for us. I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. I could use a drink. I'll fetch the wine. Human? This toy has teeth marks.
Lady says her subjects are hungry. What subjects? You look deliciously thirsty. All right, Empress. Let's drink. That's it. Drink your last drink. Breathe your last breath. My subjects grow hungry. Malaga. My head. Where am I? Dirky! I will rip you apart and feed you to your animals! How dare you, Jack? The witch kept a list of names and trophies. This bracelet was worn by a leader. This is it. wax in my ears just in case. I'm not going to hurt you. I will free you. What are you doing here? Uh, my whole life I heard tales of the siren song. A sound so sweet men would gladly die to hear it. You have no idea how dull life is for a fisherman with a love of poetry and music. You chose to be here. I... I didn't know this is what I would find. By the time I realized, there was no escape. I found this Avros. What do you know about it? That one was special. They stole it from the woman who escaped. But that was a long time ago. This tomb is full of bloodthirsty women. Who are they? No one speaks. They drain my blood, then boil and drink it. In their rituals, they scream into the night. I'm so tired, but I never sleep. Please save me. You can't stay here. Join my crew. A man named Barnavas will greet you on my ship. This looks like the place. Let's go. Get down! No closer! Please! Step into the light! Now! No! No see me! Look different! 
You're not the only one. I've been attacked my whole life for what I am. <sighs> you different, like me. Friends, me Polyphemus, you little. Sure, little. Polyphemus, I'm looking for a woman who was here. No friend for long time. You help make friend. Friend fish together. You like fish. So I'll help you make a friend to go fishing with. And you'll help me find the woman I'm looking for. Pretty bitch! Little will see! Little will like! We go now! Little follow! Show bitch where lady help Polyphemus! Polyphemus, this is important. Do you mean Lita? Silly little! Not Lita! Lady! Help Polyphemus! <laughs> like the Cyclops in Kefalonia. He had one real eye and one fake eye. He picked on Little. Pick on Little? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I shoved his fake eye up a goat's ass. <laughs> little funny. <laughs> guy. The beach is yours now, to fish all you want. Little think beach pretty. Depends on who's looking at it, but sure, I think it's pretty. But still need friend to share. Polyphemus like poetry. Can practice with you. Tell Polyphemus what make little little. Well, I have eyes. They're nice, I guess. Polyphemus no lady with pretty green eyes. She nice. <laughs> what else? Nothing makes me happier than celebrating. Drinking and singing are good for the spirit. With friend! Polyphemus love to sing. More? I wish I could be with my family. The last time I was happy, I was a young boy. I miss those days. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're a good listener, big guy. Little hurt inside. Like 
polyphemos for you. This is beautiful, the guy. More gift for little spices from pretty green-eyed lady. Only gift polyphemos ever got. This might be exactly what I was looking for. So you have a beach to go fishing? Only need friend. I can't stay with you, big guy. But I think I found someone you should meet. Evrilochos, this is Polyphemus. Polyphemus Evrilochos. Show you cave. Show me everything, my big friend. This is the grandest, most spectacular shore on which I've ever laid my weary eyes. I want to see it all. You little, but big heart. Uh, take this special gift. About my leader, do you have any news? In the cave, I found a man. I took these spices from him. Ah, my leader. Do you think the man you found was a cyclops? Then she concocted an elixir from these spices and helped him to grow a second eye? Arnavas. There was no Cyclops on Anafi, any more than there was one on Kefalonia. Have faith, my friend. Lida was there. I found this bracelet. And a lot of pigs. I can explain. Lida had it and was transformed into a pig by Kirki. When she was turned back into a beautiful woman, she gave this to Kirki to remember her by. Varnavas, this bracelet could be anyone's. No! I am certain it is Lida's! It must be! I found this Avlos on a siren, if you could call her that. An Avlos? My wife always loved these! I bet she learned to play it alongside the sirens as they sung men to their deaths. Just like her. There were no sirens. Just bloodthirsty priestesses. And this Avlos, it could be anybody's. Then how did we know where to look? It's a clue, and Persephone led us right to it. All that for a bracelet, an Avlos, and some spices. But look! I know this bracelet too well. The women of the Siege Plains wear them. These spices are native to the lands of Demeter. And this Avlos is marked by a craftsman in the Parnes Mountains. They're all from Attica. The cave! They're all around the one known as the entrance to the underworld. It can't be a coincidence. Is that where Lida is? There's only one way to know. Let's go. I know you've doubted me. I must have sounded like a crazed old fool, but you won't regret this. What matters is that we do this together, old friend. Now sail. So what does Lida look she like? She was the most beautiful woman I've ever known. Beautiful dark hair and skin. Her green eyes sparkled like jewels. And when she drank, could she fight? <laughs> she sounds fun. She was that and more, my young friend. So much more. It's been so long. I wonder if Lida would even recognize his old face. There are so many bodies. Is this the underworld? Alexios. Shh. Lee. 
Ida? Stop! I'll kill you if you come any closer. Who sent you? Pelenos? Adigles? Relax. We're here on our own. You haven't aged a day. Is this the underworld? Lida, it's me! Varnavas! That was my father's name. I never told it to anyone. Father? Young one, please. What was your mother's name? The same as mine. Lida Avitica. You were right, old friend. Lida survived. But not the way your visions told you. This is your daughter. Impossible. You have no proof. Young one, a lifetime ago, your mother and I sailed side by side. The night I lost my eye, a tempest overwhelmed us and ran us into the rocks. Lida was so brave. She roped together some of the splintered hull. I held her and I said, Don't stop paddling. Until you reach the shore. Oh, she, she told you this story. Good! After all this time, Matter said you were a king who died fighting the Idra. You need to know. Matter, she's... I understand. We'll grieve her together. I hate to interrupt, but Lida, you did threaten us with a blade. And there were bodies. After Matter died, I took over the farm. Ever since, suitors have tried to marry me for my fortune. When that didn't work, they decided it would be easier to kill me for it. You've been defending yourself. Let us help. These kinds of people don't stop until they have what they want. You mentioned two names. Pelenos and Antigles. They both live nearby. I can show you where. Let's go together. <sighs> With you by my side, we'll be unstoppable. Right. Together. Into battle. I will meet my leader again in the Golden Fields. Tell me, did she ever remarry? She did. He was a good man, kind to her and to me. Good! I pray to the gods that if she lived, she would live happily. The gods listen. My mother's farm and my life are safe, with all my heart. Thank you, both of you. And thank you for making this old man happy again. Now, about that wine! So now that you have your life back, what will you do with it? Honor my mother, protect our farm, and our fortune. I was hoping you'd join your old partner on the Adrestia. There is a woman aboard, Lola, that I met in Vilos. You two should meet. 
The gods sent me a sign by bringing you back to me to save this place. I can't dishonor them and matter by leaving. You're right. This land needs you. Pater, our farm is yours. One day, when you've sailed the world and want a stable home, you will have one here. But unless Demeter herself burns these silos down, I know I'm acting in the will of the gods. She's as strong as her mother. I couldn't be more proud. I only wish she'd change her mind. Maybe she will. In the meantime, whenever we sail past these lands, let's make it a point to stop in and say here. Yeah. 